The North Dakota Rural Grocery Initiative is once again seeking your help. In 2014, many of you participated in a survey to determine challenges and opportunities in the rural grocery industry. The survey was launched in response to your concerns over increasing operating costs and diminishing profits. Many of you are reaching out for help through the North Dakota Association of Rural Electric Cooperatives Rural Development Staff or through our state USDA office. As the number of requests increased, we began to suspect there had been a shift in the industry. As we researched further, we learned that the distribution of food to rural areas is a national issue with many states working to address the problem. The 2014 survey was the basis for identifying challenges of food distribution to rural areas. 45% of you responded to the survey. Through this survey data, we learned about minimum purchasing requirements. To achieve efficiencies, suppliers implemented a minimum dollar amount a store must purchase in a given week to be eligible for delivery from the company. The higher the minimum, the more affordable the product. When the store can no longer regularly achieve that minimum, they lose their supplier and must seek a new one. The new supplier will have a lower minimum purchasing requirement, but a higher product cost. This continues until the store reaches the level of purchasing from a convenience store supplier. Typically, this supplier will have a higher price and less variety. There are unintended consequences to this practice. For example, many smaller stores are finding it more affordable to drive weekly to a big box store to purchase many of their grocery items. They do this because of both cost and variety. Additionally, in part because of this practice, the market share of the big box stores, also known as non-traditional suppliers, is growing. Non-traditional suppliers are retailers such as Menards, Walmart, and Costco. This growth is eating into the market share of the traditional suppliers of companies such as SuperValue, Spartan Nash, and Mason Brothers. As this happens, the traditional suppliers become less efficient. And the minimum purchasing requirements are leading to inefficiencies in the delivery system. As you can see by this map, the supplier's delivery routes are determined by the volume being purchased. Each circle color on the map represents a different supplier. A truck may stop at one community because they are able to purchase at a certain volume, but pass by the next several communities because their volume is smaller. In essence, we have several different suppliers driving the same road, delivering the same products. It is adding to the cost of food. As we released the first survey findings, potential public partners began to contact us about the opportunity to develop public-private partnerships to improve the delivery of food to rural areas. To determine if this is feasible, we need more data. We will be collecting data related to supply, volume, frequency, perishability, and infrastructure from rural grocers, public partners, and suppliers. The Upper Great Plains Transportation Institute will map this data using a geospatial mapping system. This will demonstrate the current routes. Then we will collect infrastructure data from our potential public partners, the North Dakota Department of Health, the Great Plains Food Bank, and the United States Postal Service. We will add this data to the mapping system. This information will include warehouse space, trucks, and ordering systems. Also factored in will be excess capacity within our rural grocery system. The mapping project will factor in this information to predict more efficient future distribution routes. We are hoping this study will show opportunities for collective purchasing, innovative ways to aggregate product, and methods for delivering the last leg more efficiently. Benefits to the grocer might be the elimination of minimum purchasing requirements, more affordable product, and access to greater variety in smaller quantities. What can you do to help ensure the success of the pre-feasibility study? First, we need your data collected through this survey. This project depends on a high survey return rate to accurately reflect the current distribution structure and to predict future scenarios. More participation means more complete data. By participating in the survey, you are making your voice heard and letting the public partners know that the rural grocery industry needs their support. Your commitment to complete the survey will help keep rural North Dakota healthy and thriving, and we need your help to do it. If you have questions or concerns about the survey, please call Lori Sapu or Mary Stumpf at 1-800-234-0518.